and welcome to SL Productions and my review to Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 8, The Witch Finders. Now this episode aired last night on BBC One and BBC One HD, so sorry about the delay, I am a day late reviewing this episode. The first episode of Series 11 not to do on the day it comes out. In Series 10 I think I reviewed the Pyramid, the pyramid at the End of the World the following Monday, so yeah that was two days late, so yeah. Not the worst, not the worst delayed video. So yes, what did I like about this episode and what did I dislike? But before I discussed out what my overall thoughts on the episode as a whole. So it got off to a good start, but then at around the 45 minute mark, it just went from here to here. I think this story just messed up. It was a 10 out of 10 here and probably a 2 out of 10 here. So yeah, the last 15 minutes of this story really let it down in my opinion and that's what I am going to discuss now. Also, at the end of this video, I will be previewing the next video, It Takes You Away. It doesn't really sound like a Doctor Who episode, so yeah, I will be previewing that at the end of this video. So yes, what do I like about the plot of this episode? So yes, what is this episode about? If you're watching in the far future and have forgotten what this episode is about, or if you're like me and have already forgotten what the main plot of this episode was about. So yes, now, the person who forgot is going to remind you what this episode was about. How I can remember it. So yes, the Doctor and the TARDIS team land in 17th century Lancashire at the bottom of Pendle Hill, which I've actually walked up a couple of couple of times so yes maybe if I'm up there again I'll film a location video up there that's not a guarantee that is just a possibility so yes basically there's these witch trials going on with this woman drowning these women in the belief that they are witches now the reason for this is that she got bitten by this weird tree thing and she believes it to be witchcraft so she's drowning all the women in the little village in hope that the infection will go away and yeah, King James shows up who actually ordered the execution of all these witches and yeah that is basically what happens they undercover loads of secrets about this woman and yeah it is quite a lot more to the plot so yeah please watch the episode if you want more in-depth discussion on the plot so yes what did I like about this episode so yes, the first thing I liked about this episode was the setting. I absolutely love the setting of this story. I thought it was really authentic and I really did like the feel to this story. It felt a lot like Doctor Who, this story. We actually had a proper villain in this story, who I didn't really like, but at least we had a villain in this story. So yeah, the setting was great. The authenticity of the setting was great with all the clothing and all the props and stuff like that. It was all really authentic, which I really did like about this episode. Also, also the music, I thought there was more variety of music in this episode than Kaplam, so yes, an improvement on the music which I did like, I liked the music in this episode. Didn't, didn't not like the music in Kaplam, I just thought there wasn't much of a variety in Kaplam, but in this episode I thought there was a bit more of a variety of music, so yes, I liked that. And also the guest stars, I thought most of the guest stars were pretty good in this story, I thought they were good as always in the series so far there hasn't really been that many guest stars who have been really annoying and really bad acting in the series so yeah guest stars great again but what did i not like about this episode so yeah the first thing i didn't like about this episode was the conclusion i think up until that scene when the doctor almost got drowned as a witch it was great but then after that scene it just fell flat on its face, I think, this story. I just thought it got really silly, and it just couldn't take it seriously with all the prosthetics of the Lady Savage fully possessed witch thing. I just couldn't take it seriously. And the tree, another negative with its face. I didn't know what all that was about. So yes, I did not like that as well. I thought that just looked fake, especially with the face. It just looked awful, in my opinion, and I didn't like the CGI in this scene of the episode. CGI earlier on, it was okay, there wasn't actually that much CGI, but with the roots, I thought they were quite good CGI. But yeah, after that, in the final scene, I thought the CGI wasn't very good, especially with the flames as well, which they killed the final witch with. I thought the flames didn't look quite real and looked like they'd been made on Movie Maker, but at least they did better than me. I wouldn't be able to do those flames, but it is Doctor Who. It is Doctor Who, they should be able to make realistic looking green flames. So yes, also the makeup of the final witch at the end, the Lady Savage Witch, just didn't like that. The prosthetics, 
they just looked fake in my opinion, they looked like they were from the classic series of Doctor Who, they just didn't look realistic in my opinion, it looked more like a mask than actual prosthetics, so yes, didn't like that about this episode, and yet again, the effects, didn't like those as well, thought the effects were pretty bad in this episode as a whole. Wasn't much CGI in this episode, it was more just special effects. At least the CGI was better, I thought the Pendle Hill CGI was great. It wasn't actually filmed in Pendle Hill, unfortunately it was filmed in Cardiff and they just projected Pendle Hill onto the background. I'll still film a locations video though. I'll find a tree stump and just say it's the tree which she cut down. And also, why on earth would she be cutting down a tree by herself? She married into a rich family, why not get a servant to do it? Why not pay someone to do it? You know, not a lot of people actually chop down a tree anymore. They get a tree surgeon in to do it. And yes, she's rich as well. Why not get someone in to pay and chop the tree down? There were loads of workers in that village. Why not get one of them to do it? I don't know. I do not know. And that's really going to annoy me. So yes, what do I rate this episode out of 10? So in the first 45 minutes, I would personally rate a 10 out of 10. But then the last 15 minutes of this episode, I would personally rate it a 2 out of 10. So the average is... A 5 out of 10. I would rate this story a 5 out of 10, which unfortunately makes it my least favourite episode in the series so far, due to the last 10 minutes. It would be my favourite, I think, if it wasn't for the last 10 minutes, but the last 10 minutes lets it down, and the conclusion is the most important part of the story, in my opinion. So yes, that is the end of my episode preview. Please let me know what you think of this episode in the comments below. Now, moving on to my episode preview for the next episode, It Takes You Away. So yes, moving on to my episode preview for Doctor Who Series 11, Episode 9, It Takes You Away. Now this is the penultimate episode in the series. We've only got two episodes left of Series 11. So yes, the penultimate episode, It Takes You Away. This episode is written by Ed Heim and airs next Sunday on BBC One and BBC One HD at, I think, 6.30pm GMT on BBC One and BBC One HD. It might be 7pm or it might be 6.45pm. You'll have to check that, but there should be an overlay here so you can check that. But more importantly, what is this episode going to be about? Now, I don't happen to have the Doctor Who magazine handy. I don't know where it is. I think I've put it down somewhere and forgotten where it is. So, yeah, I can't read the synopsis out of the Doctor Who magazine. However... I do remember what happened in the next time trailer and what I did originally read in the Doctor Who magazine. So yes, apparently it's set in Norway in the present day and there's this abandoned house. It's an abandoned house all boarded up in the middle of winter and no smoke is coming out of the chimney. But it's boarded up. Why would smoke be coming out of the chimney? What's suspicious about that, Doctor? Just a house? People move out and people just leave the house. It's in a remote area. People don't automatically remove move to remote areas once a house is abandoned so yeah maybe if it was in a city it would be suspicious but not in the middle of nowhere so yes doctor get your facts right but yeah it's set around this dam this hydro dam so yeah it looks very sci-fi the setting for this i really do like the look of the setting for this story so yeah looking forward to that written by ed time and yeah looking forward to this episode so presumably the doctor and her companions land in this little norwegian town and there's this house which they grow suspicious of, as well as all these other disposable guest characters. So yeah, hope the guest characters are better than last week's The Witch Finders, which I did mention earlier on in this video. And yeah, that is the end of my episode preview. The reason why I'm not doing them is because they don't get that high views, and I do find it difficult to do a whole video discussing the episode. The next episode that is but i'll still be doing reviews for the last two episodes but i won't be doing a pure preview video so yes how many views will this episode get the witch finders overnight figures were down a bit from kaplan but they're not down dramatically people are saying the viewers are going down dramatically millions every week but they're not you know between they have been going down however every episode they have been going down i think demons of the punjab to kaplam was 0.02 million or something like that for drop so yeah it is a very small drop per episode so hopefully they'll go a bit more higher for the finale i don't think we'll get 
10.91 million for the finale, but we might get back into the 7 millions because I reckon the Witchfinders might dip below the 7 million mark. This episode might dip below the 7 million mark, but I think we should be above the 7 million mark for the finale. The Battle of Azincourt or something like that. I don't know. That's on Marvel, isn't it? Yeah, 4. So, yeah. Also, I want to draw attention to Dr. Blue's new competition for Hootuber Awards. So, yeah, similar to my awards, Dr. Blue, hope you're not copying me, only joking, it is a brilliant idea. I was actually thinking of doing something similar, but you beat me to it, Dr. Blue. So, yeah, hopefully it'll be good. Please vote if you already haven't. You know, can't vote for me. Can't vote for me. So, yeah, until the next time, goodbye.